This one is by Shimsir84, and the map is called Ivan Dabrowski. <laughs> Hold on, what is that emote? Jakub Cat. I like that. This looks like it's very Quake inspired. Yeah, those sky textures are from Quake. I recognize them. You've never played Doom 1 or 2 before? Huh. Playing it with GZ Doom is, I think, is the best way to go. If you've never played it before, anyway. Unless you're really into, like, playing it, uh, the way it was fully intended. There was a SNES release. I don't recommend playing that, though. It's not a very good one. If you absolutely have to have a controller, probably the PlayStation version of Doom. I only recommend that because Aubrey Hodges did the sound effects for it. So it's a little bit different. If you prefer the classic sound effects, I'd actually just say play the PC port with GZ Doom because you can use a controller. The, playing it with a mouse and keyboard is like the way to go, though. Like bar none. Like I said, you can turn on mouse. You can make it feel as much like a modern shooter as you want it to. That's how customizable GZ Doom is. Like if you're used to mouse look, like see what I'm doing. You in the original Doom, you weren't able to mouse look. GZ Doom kind of updates it to allow you to do that, but you don't have to. You can play it either the way it was intended or make it feel more comf as comfortable as you want it to be. This also, you can play this on a laptop easily. This does not require that much resources. You could run, you could run Doom on like a, on a lemon. Crap. Where did they come from? Uh, what was this called? Ivan Dabrowski. Eldritch Citadel. What? Okay, so apparently this is Eldritch Citadel, not Ivan Dabrowski. Unless this is the name of the map. Ow, fucking Revenants.
Is it just me, or did he give these guys a massive amount of health? Looks like it's taking a lot longer to take them down. This is evil. I almost feel like he did this on purpose, so you have no ammo to deal with anything else. Oh, never mind. Oh, I might be able to enter this now. Or not. Not yet, anyway. How the hell do I enter that? Requires a yellow key and I have a blue key. So that no work. That is a very big Jesus. That's a quake texture, by the way. Maybe they didn't give him extra. I don't know, maybe it was something weird about where I was shooting. <clears throat> oh. Jesus Christ. stuck up there. Oh dear god, this turned into a slaughter map. Fuck that shit, I'm out of here. Okay, this sucks. This sucks! I'm not even bothering with them. I got stuck, god damn it.
No! Christ. This is this is fucking terrifying. Oh my god, really? Uh... Do I really have to beat them all? I feel like this is impossible. Like, I'm questioning whether or not it's even possible to beat them all. Like, is this is everyone in the stage? Is this, like, telling me, hey, you should have taken them all out earlier? Because I feel like that's what it's telling me. But there's 351 enemies on this, so I don't think that's the case. Couldn't run Terraria on your old fucking junk? Still might be able to run this. Why does it just suddenly get dark stepping right here? I don't think this is possible without cheating. I feel like you meant to put an invincibility sphere here or something. Like, the room just fills up. There's just no way of... There's no way of doing this. I feel like you meant to put an invincibility sphere in... Invincibility sphere in here. Like, I just... I can't see any way of you being able to beat this legit. I'm actually kind of curious if this is supposed... If this is easier on... Because I feel like with most of these wads, they don't take difficulty into account. They're like the same thing on every difficulty. I want, I'm actually curious if this one takes difficulty into account. Like, even if this is just an endurance test, like, you, you still can't win. Yeah, fuck this shit.
I'm beyond the point of caring. It was alright up until this. This is impossible. Without cheating. If we put an invincibility sphere, then this would be possible. It would essentially just be get them to ki kill them as fast as possible. But this is bullshit. I'd say this is like, this is absolute overkill. It's one thing if it were a slaughter map. These corridors are way too tight for shit like this. It's not as bad as that other map I ran into where there's not even enough resources to deal with it, everything. I'll give it that. That one was a piece of shit. I would say for this, uh, tone down on the enemy spam, like, significantly. And, because the, uh, unlike with that one, the level design in this one's actually really good. He just has way too many enemies in areas where they have no business being. Yeah, like, look at this. This is way too much enemy spam. For this room, it's not so bad. But if I didn't have God Mode on, this would be this would be next to impossible again. You couldn't even get up the get up here. You would have to kill them all. I guarantee you Joel used god mode for this. There is no way he would be able to do this legit. If I can, he can. This is like next level enemy spam. Seriously? I mean, there's hard, and then there's holy shit, put on the brakes for a change. This is nuts. Like, this is the problem, like... See, there's cover for him now. But look at what was in here in the first place. Look at what- look at what's all over the walls. You have no place to hide. It doesn't matter how much health you put in here. This is real overkill. Like, holy shit.
Um, How was that noise? I wouldn't say this is exactly like those Mario Maker levels where they just pour enemies on top of you, but it's because there's actual competent level design here. It's the enemy placement that's the problem. Also, this doesn't end. The fuck? Th this level doesn't end. Yeah, there's no level two. Well, like, uh, the way he designed that level, the level itself was not that bad. I don't know if he accounted for difficulty. But, like, yeah, there's no ending to that level. I don't know if you're actually supposed to die in there. Maybe that's why it didn't end.